Right, I think we're good. Okay, so we're uh, we're going to walk through a few features of SmartSync uh, 2011, both the teacher version and the student version. I have a class already started with a few students already logged in, just so I can show you what it looks like with a few students logged in. So um, I'm going to go through some of the features uh, of SmartSync 2011 and just show you what the uh, options are available to you. Now when you have all these students logged in and you want to start out the class, one of the easiest ways to grab everyone's attention is to click the lock button. As soon as you hit the lock button, it doesn't show up on this screen here, but on theirs will have a uh, eyes to the front please message or something that you can change later on in preferences. Mine says go Red Sox go, so it always bugs Yankee fans. Now. You can say your piece, grab their attention, unlock it, and then they're able to use their computers again. Now, um, internet block does exactly what it says. It's just a quick way to block them from the internet if you wanted them to be uh, just using Microsoft Word and not going online. It's just a really simple way for them to uh, focus on what they're supposed to be doing. Also on the top bar here, uh, task bar, is uh, announce. So, if there's something that you just, uh, instead of saying eyes to the front, if you want to announce something that you want everyone to know, just click on announce. You can see all the students in the class are over here on your right, and I would just type in, pay attention, please, and hit announce. And that will pop up on all of their screens. No matter what they're doing, that will be the first thing that pops up until they click OK. So you guys can go click OK. Perfect. Um, one of the features that I always liked is vote. So if you're doing a concept and you're wondering whether or not kids have got it or not, you can just click on vote. Just say, did you understand the last concept? And hit OK. That pops up on their screen. And what you're going to see in the top corner of all their screens is it's just waiting to get their response. Let's zoom in on what a kid sees right here real quick. This person here is going to click yes and then submit. And then now when I back out, I can see that they got a check mark in here. So yes, they got it. This student didn't. And we're still waiting on these two students here. So just instruct them that they have to click submit and we're good to go. So it's just an easy way to look at and see where the kids are at with a certain concept that was taught. Obviously, there's two kids or three kids that need some uh, help here, but uh, it looks like we're ready to move on. Now, there are other options here for you in terms of observing. I just showed you one of them. You can either click on a screen. As you can see, three things come up here, for, or three options come up here for you. Now, if you just double click on the screen, it uh, gives you a full screen version of what they have. And now we are observing what this kid is doing. And... Uh, we can actually go a little bit further with that just by going up to the menu up here. So right now, I think that kid just played with his mouse while I was playing with it. So we had a little bit of a tug of <laughs> a little bit of tug of war there. Can you just keep your hand off the screen there for a sec? There we go. That's perfect. So I can go up to menu and I can actually click on one of these three options here, and I can control the computer, which means now. Little Timmy in the corner there can't uh, can't control this, and I have control over his computer. So if I wanted to show him something online, show him something on the start menu here, I can actually get into their computer and show them without actually leaving my seat. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now to get out of this, we just click X, but I'm just going to show you the other feature, which is broadcast. Now, if there's a kid that's doing something that you want to share with the rest of the class, you just click on broadcast. Now all of their screens are going to be showing uh, the student screen that you wanted to broadcast. Um, you can broadcast your screen or a student screen. And uh, let's just show you how to uh, broadcast a teacher's screen once I capture this. The one other option I wanted to show you right now, I guess, is just capture. And uh, essentially what capture is, is it just takes a screenshot of the image or of the uh, image you see in front of you. And you can save that to whatever file you want. So we'll save that to pictures. So that's if there's a kid doing something right that you wanted to share or a kid doing something inappropriate that you wanted to send along to the administration. 
and you have evidence of what it was that they did. So let's just get out of this now by clicking on X right here. All right. Now, if you want to broadcast your teacher screen, you can see that this option is still highlighted. Do I want to broadcast to the current group? Yes. And now all the students can see my screen. And I can walk them through what's on my, my screen. So instead of taking them on a kid's computer, you can just show them on your computer what it is that you want them to do. And the same thing goes on their computer screen. I mean, this was up here on the student one as well. I can click on this pen, and if I want, I can actually circle things. So if I had a document up and I wanted to write on it with a pen, or you wanted to go up to the smart board, then this would work just as well. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Now, um, just really quickly, let me click on a kid's screen and show you all the options that come up again. You can capture from here as well, and it's going to do the same thing. Let's save the image. Uh, there is an option here to show media. However, showing media doesn't work all that well. I mean, a small group like this, maybe it might work, but it is uh, something I would probably just stay away from and just put it up on the smart board. It just takes too, uh, too long and the video quality doesn't usually, it comes out a little bit choppy. Now, let's just say I wanted to send a website to a group of kids that I wanted them to work on, or I just wanted to show them. I click on send web, you enter the address and send it along. So let me just give you an example here. Let's open up this, our Internet Explorer. Take a few seconds. Let's go to Discovery Education Canada. We'll click on that. Now, I'm just going to select the web address, copy it, go back down to my smart sync, send web, right click, paste, and send www. Now the website that I just clicked on will open up both on my screen and it will open up automatically on all the student screens without them having to do anything. So it's just an easy way to make sure that all the kids have the website that you want them to go on. Um, there are sometimes situations where kids will be logging on your class that shouldn't be logged on to your class. You can be uh, Mr. Meany and click uh, shut down on those kids. Um, so if I clicked on this student right here and click shut down, his computer is going to shut down. Um, the nicer thing to do is just to go onto their screen, right click, and then go disconnect. And that removes him from your, uh, your class that he's currently in right now. So that's all the items on the taskbar on the top. Now let's look on the side here. Right now we're currently in the thumbnails view. In the thumbnails view you can see all the computer screens of all the kids. And uh, the good thing about it too is uh, you can also find out what programs they're running. Could I just have a few students just click on the internet browser in front of them? And I just want you to see what happens to the top left hand corner here. Right now the vote is still up there. But when they click on the internet screen, the program that they are running is going to come up in the top corner once they get it a vote. Clear the results, yes. So it's going to show me what program that they're currently running. So it's just a quick way. Sometimes the screen may be too small. Like if you had a full 20 in here, it's harder to see. It's good just to take a quick look at what program they're running in the top left-hand corner. So the, the thumbnail view is uh, very useful when it comes to monitoring the progress of your students and their attentiveness to the assignment.